you going? Yep. All right. Sean was slinging ink here. Uh, we are with the legendary Guar, and you are. I am Odorous Jorokas of the legendary Guar. Obviously, we're not too legendary. You don't know who the fucking late singer is. <laughs> Hi, your mate has large breasts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, who is your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them in the shop they work at. Uh, Bernie Luther. Uh, I don't know the shop. He's just from Austria. Uh, Jorge. Don't know the shop. Just he's from Houston. Uh, don't know too much about tattoos. The needles tend to explode when they touch my skin. Right on. Uh, what is the meaning of life as we know it according to the war? Uh, death, slaughter... Uh, pagan debauchery, uh, da- uh, dandruff, uh, having sex with animals, heavy metal, uh, you know, the typical stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, please do fuck sex with blue whales. <laughs> uh, what was it like appearing on the Jerry Springer show and the Joan Rivers show, and are they really human? No, neither one of them is human. Both of them were totally stupid. I hate those people, those crappy celebrities. Jimmy Fallon is way better. Oh, no, he's not. He sucks. <laughs> right on. Uh, 2010 at the Bonnaroo Music uh, Festival in Manchester, Tennessee, Margaret Cho made a special appearance. So, uh, tell us about the Margaret Cho experience. Oh, uh, we fucked her in the face until uh, she really took it like a champ as well, I must say. Uh, or a, a little Chinese woman, she, she uh, consumed at least 47 gallons of load. Uh, Margaret and I, uh, we've kept up a torn relationship ever since then. But I heard she was fucking a lot of other dudes that day as well, so. <laughs> right on. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> now your new album, Bloody Pit of Horror, which just came out November 9th, uh, where did you come up with the name and what's the meaning behind it? We stole it from another movie from the 60s, back in a time when movies were made with style and care instead of driven by corporate whoredom and CG trickery. And also, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I think I answered the question. All right. Uh, tell us about the legend of the creation of war. Oh, jeez. Well, everybody knows that shit. Just get on the website and look at it. We were born millions of years ago. Uh, we fought. We were banished to the human to Earth in order to uh, not fuck up in outer space. But we fucked the apes, created the human race, and we're banished uh, here for eternity. And uh, Whatever, and uh, then we were reborn as a heavy metal band, and now we're here rocking the house with our dicks hanging out. Right on. Tell us how you feel on censorship. Uh, I think censorship itself should be censored. <laughs> if I didn't have people that were trying to censor my ship, I, I wouldn't have anyone to hate. So I, I guess they do fulfill a purpose in a strange way. Right on. Uh, now your film, uh, Phallus and Wonderland, was nominated for a Grammy, but you guys were denied interest to the show. How did you retaliate? Uh, by continuing to make war. All right, right on. And last but not least, what does the future hold for war? We know about your new album, um, and you're also appearing on Pitbanger's Ball. What else can your fans expect? Uh, relentless touring, uh, unequaled passion for the fine arts, and uh, hideous debacles of human terror uh, involving the buttering of the nipple chips. <laughs> Right on. I definitely appreciate you taking the time, man. Hey! Hey! Look at it, rules! Or something! Yep. Oh.